I was on the train the other day, and it was just me and another guy, and he was like, excuse me, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am, you dropped something. My back was to him, like, it makes sense. Like, from behind especially, I do look like a butter face of a middle-aged woman, but I, I turned around and gave him one of these, you know? Expecting we'd laugh it off, but he was like, oh yeah, ma'am, you dropped something. <laughs> Not even miss, ma'am. I'm not, uh, I'm not hip enough to have one of those iPod connectors in my car, so I still have to listen to my car CD player. And every once in a while, if I'm feeling dangerous, I like to put it on random, you know, roll the dice a little bit. And random every so often, we'll decide to play songs in the consecutive order, go from like track eight to track nine. I always think that's pretty ballsy of it. Whenever it does that, I look at it, I'm just like, son of a bitch. <laughs> And I feel like it's winking right back at me like some cheeky ragamuffin on the streets of London. Like, I bet you didn't see that coming out, did ya? I got tricks up my sleeve you never heard of. Spend the day with me, I'll take you to places you never thought existed. Introduce you to women beyond your wildest dreams. Cause I can, hey there, mum, get for a picture? You got the face for it. No? How about a date then? I'll take you out to Mr. Bittengrits for steak and ice cream. Split the bill, I'm out with Joachim. She's a lovely girl, the kind of put her, take out for a cup of tea, bring her in the sidewalk, kick in a grundle, leave her there for dead, know what I mean? That is Mr. Bubbins. Bit of an eccentric, that one. Usually he's got a piglet sucking from his teeth. Not today, you know, hip hip. Yeah, it's kind of like that, you know, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, whoa, hot crowd. I, uh, I live near downtown, and there's a lot of businessmen in my area, which is a world I couldn't understand less. You know, like, they're just always hanging out in restaurants and, like, coffee shops, networking, rubbing their blackberries together. <laughs> they're just like, hey, how are ya? Reggie Kim, ah, ah, good to see ya, take care. <laughs> College of Buyers and Sellers, class of 81. I wrote my thesis on conference calls, ha ah, ah. ha. Sure, sure. I have a recurring night terror where I go to the office holiday party wearing my Bluetooth on the wrong ear. And it gives Dale from Human Resources the wrong idea. I drive three fancy pants sports cars and I want everyone to know it. That's why I drive all three everywhere I go. I drive one 200 feet, park it, get out, walk back to the other one, drive that 200 feet, park that, go back to the last, until I get to my final destination. Sometimes it takes as long as six days to go as far as a grocery store. <laughs> I can only come when I'm looking at my own resume. If my portfolio's in the room, I'm capable of achieving multiple orgasms. Ha <laughs> ha, sure. <laughs> I was watching this thing on birds the other day, and they have, uh, they have courtship the best birds. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They just do like the stupidest stuff to impress their mates, you know. They'll just be like, I grew up in a small, relatively affluent town, 
called Stowe, Massachusetts. And there's a lot of women in my town who are very aggressive and just very confrontational, just about their own lives, okay? And they'll just be like, So I went to Chico's the other morning at 5 a.m. today, their big blowout sale. I'd been up all night snorting lines of Kashi Goline, so I'm already out of my frickin' mind. I walk up to the entrance, it says it's open until 8 a.m. Well, I'm not gonna deal with that! I get back in my Honda Fit, back it up, and crash right through the display window. Well, I'm thrown through my windshield and I'm lying in a sea of blood? glass and wrinkle resistant pants suits when the cops show up. Unfortunately for me, I was already in the land for doing a hit and run back in 99 on my way to go see the new penguin exhibit at the New England Aquarium. So they put me in a holding cell, but I picked the lock with my boarder's rewards card <laughs> and blind the guard with my pink grapefruit bath and body works body spritzer and power walk my way to freedom. My Labradoodle just got accepted to Carnegie Mellon. <laughs> Early acceptance. Still waiting to hear back from Yale and Pomona. Fingers crossed. <laughs> back in February of 09, I went on a five day rice peel off bender. Landed me in detox for six goddamn months. My husband, Dave, comes to visit me. Brings me a Yanni CD. Don't get me wrong, I'd let Yanni in my Acropolis any day of the week. But I would have preferred a gift card to Crate and Barrel. Nothing gets me hot like a decorative twig bundle. Oh. Oh, keep it together, Gail, keep it together. Bet you didn't know my name was Gail, did you? My name's Gail Waters Waters. My husband and I had the same last name, but I still insisted on hyphenating it anyway. Oh, hot crowd tonight. <laughs> Went to go see the new Sandra Bullock film the other day. Brought my own panini. They said no outside food. Well, I wasn't gonna deal with that. I put my panini in a balloon and swallowed it whole. A little trick I learned on 60 Minutes about drug mules. If that had burst, my abdominal cavity would have been face to face with a tidal wave of tomato, mozzarella, and basil. But I was off my face on Terra chips. So I didn't know right from wrong. Okay, that's, I mean, that's the end of that one, but uh, I mean, you feel obligated. You went, okay, thank you. Um, all right, you guys, I'm gonna leave you with a, uh, you guys like impressions? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do one impression for you. This is for all you art connoisseurs. This is a, the girl with the pearl earring, okay? <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.